Yes. Take two. Take dos. His fault. Welcome to Cigar Audit. Matt and Edward here to review the Oliva V Melanio in Maduro. Again. <laughs> um, this is in the Robusto size. I picked these up about three weeks ago at the Cigar Fest in the Poconos in Pennsylvania. Um, it's a 5 by 52 stick and this one is a Nicaraguan long filler wrapped in a um, I was a San Andreas, a Maduro San Andreas. So what does your cigar look and feel like, Mr. Ed? Do you want me to say what I said the first time? You say whatever, you, change it a whatever you'd like to okay. say. <laughs> well, it is box pressed. However, it's, you know, the rounded edges, which some box press do have a little, it's a little more sharper edge, but it's a nice shape and a good feel. Mm -hmm. Nice dark chocolate color, uh, oily wrapper. Few veins, but not, over, not overly so. I think the seams are, are pretty uh, yeah, it's like seamless. A, it's like a, well, the seams are seamless. You like that? That wouldn't be a seam. Well, it's hard to see them. <laughs> it would make them seamless, right? Because mm. um, you can't feel them, it's really hard to tell. Is that kind of um, like a, a bear shits in the woods? <laughs> Do you smell it? I mean, you know, a seam is seamless. Well, speaking of bear shit, I get a, a uh, very strong barnyard smell from yeah. this. Um, Maybe even a manure smell. So yummy. So horse, cow, goat, sheep. Bear. A, a, a bear is on a farm. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> I don't. Didn't know they had bear farms. <laughs> bear meat. Well, they have. They have uh, buffalo. So why not bear? You know. I've had bear meat before. From a farm. No. <laughs> anyway. Uh, the cigar looks really good. Uh, it does have a, a, a nice aroma, even though I did say it smells like shit. Um, it does smell good in a cigar way. I'll put it that way. So we'll cut this up. Very. And get this lit. He heavy tobacco -y smell. Yeah. Straw. So on the pre light draw, fairly snug draw. Maybe just a bit. It's pretty much about where I like it. Maybe a little, not a little bit, so, but I'm sure it'll open, obviously it'll open up with heat. Yep. It's got a um, kind of a dried fruit and uh, cedar flavor to it, and it is packed very tight. I'm not getting any cedar at all. No? You get a little bit of wood and some. Uh, <laughs> I never get a little bit of wood, I'm just saying. Oh, really? I hear that complaint a lot from your wife. <laughs> a little bit of wood. So we'll get this toasted up, see what it tastes like. Well, at first light, I almost got a toasted marshmallow flavor. It's pretty strong. And a uh, kind of a doughy taste to it. It's really good. <coughs> I will agree with you probably for the first time. The first hit was a toasted marshmallow, but the type of toast, like when you burn it on the outside, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the outside skin. It was good. I will agree with that. That's probably the first time. Not the dough flavor? Mm, no. no. It's not as strong as I expected it to be. Um, it's good flavors. I'm not getting any spice at all on the retro mm -hmm. It's very, very smooth in that respect. I guess I could see the a little bit of the dried fruit taste. I get a little dried fruit, but I'm also getting chocolate. I'm getting not like a milk sweet chocolate, no. but a little bit of a chocolate. To maybe, it. but may, like very, like maybe only fifteen percent cacao. I mean, really low cacao level <laughs> chocolate. Um, it's definitely a very smooth cigar. The blend is very uh, well balanced so far. Um, it, retro hail, there's no burn whatsoever. You know, very, very. I, I normally only smoke cigars that are 85% or more cacao. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, so far, I think that this is uh, the beginning of this first third. It's it's performing very well. I get uh, some balanced cigars. Or, there's you know, the spice of the retro hail. You got spice? Yeah, now it's kicking in. I get some white pepper, but I'm not getting a whole no, lot. As it gets it down, more, as it gets down more. Okay. But so far, it's performing very well, and uh, we'll per see how it progresses throughout this uh, first third.
Welcome back to Cigar Audit. Matt and Ed here to do the first third of the Oliva V Series Melania <laughs> in Maduro. Ed has cancer, and I will tell you my first third. That retro hails is really kicking up. What's up? Do it. Um, do, do it. it. Do it. It's spicy, but it's not. It's a spicy white pepper. Um, maybe a little bit of hint of red pepper in there. It's good. Um, not too much. Well, maybe it burns a little. Maybe something's been eating away at my nasal membrane. It may be. And you keep that to yourself, sir. Anyway, <laughs> uh, my first third has been uh, pretty good. It's a fairly complex blend of uh, coffee, dark chocolate. Um, some dried fruit in there, um, some spices, I would say moderate, moderate to small <laughs> spices, sweet spices. Um, and my, my burn has kind of gotten wavy off and on here, um, but the ash, at least my ash, seems to hold pretty well. Uh, I was just getting ready to de-ash, but you saw it was crooked, so, you know. Gotta do what you gotta do. But, I would say it's a very pleasant smoke. I, I think the retro hail at the end of this uh, first third is getting a little stronger, as Ed has found. Um, so, Ed, your first third, how's it progressed for you? Oh, it's changed a little bit. I'm getting a little bit more of that dried fruit sweetness um, and the earth tobacco flavor. I'm not getting the cocoa or the ten other things you said. You're not? I just no. got some right there. That's good. Yeah, I, I, what about, do you get, um, the kind of the fruit that I can nail it down to is like a plum and raisin, are you getting any of that? So your first third, Mr. Ed, how has it performed for you? It's pretty, that's a good cigar. Um, like I said, it, it, it won a national, and initially, that little toasty marshmallow, and then uh, went to the earth, and now the, the, to me, the dried fruit is coming in. I really can't pinpoint to any type of fruit. single, you know how you buy that mixed bag of dried mm -hmm. fruit and you just reach in and it's sort of oh. one taste. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm getting. Yeah, I, I agree. I get more of the raisin and plum uh, flavor, but um, I definitely get some cocoa and, and some uh, uh, dark coffee here and there. It's not bitter in any way though. No, not at all. <clears throat> And on the finish, my finish is fairly long. <clears throat> I would say it's um, kind of an earthy, slight sweet spice to it. I don't know if you're getting that as well, but um, kind of cinnamon, nutmeg, and uh, some, some earthiness. And a little, little root beer. Well, that's because you just drank some root beer. <laughs> but so far, there's lots of smoke. Ash is holding well. The burn's wavy, it which is. my ash is holding fine. See, um, some of us know how to smoke a cigar. Some of us are still learning, so eventually. Um, but anyway, we'll smoke this down, see how the second third does, and we'll let you know how it progresses. Welcome back to Cigar Audit. Matt and Ed here to go over the Oliva V Series. Melania in Maduro. Say that ten times fast. Um, so Ed, your second, third, sir. How's it perform? Well, my burn has gotten really wonky. I see that. I don't know if you can see. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drop the ash. And then you can really see it. Yeah, you can see it. Um, I'm, the fruit's kind of died down. It's more of an earthy earthy tobacco taste. Um, I will have to say that these aren't as strong as I had expected them to be. Not at all. I'd say medium. Slightly above medium, but yeah, it's in that medium range. Of course, range. always slightly above what I'm saying. Any um, other changes on the finish? I think the spices change is to really die down on the finish for me. Yeah, I... My third's been very similar. It's become a little earthier. Um, the fruit is a, a barely a hint anymore. Um, uh, the 
the cocoa, barely a hint anymore, barely tell it's there. I think I get more um, espresso notes more than anything, espresso earth. Um, and even the finish, the sweet spices are, are so muted, it's, it's hard to tell that they're there. And you get a little bit of black pepper, but that's about it. Um, draws good. <clears throat> Mine burns wavy, but it's pretty good. Better than yours, but um, but all in all, I think it's a, it's a pleasant cigar. Uh, I expected a uh, more of a chocolate cigar so far, and I haven't gotten that. So hopefully this uh, last third here will perform um, and give you some more of those deep, rich cocoa notes. So, so far so good. We'll get down deeper into this cigar and we'll see how it progresses. <laughs> Welcome back to Cigar Audit. Matt and Ed here to finish up the Oliva, Melanio, and Maduro. Ed, your last third. Been nursing it. Uh, really not much of a change. Just the earth taste, uh, the spice, you know, the retro hair, the pepper comes in and out. The fruit to me is gone. <clears throat> or is very subtle. Mm -hmm. And I had that catastrophic burn issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've had a few construction issues too. I have a wavy burn, but <clears throat> I did have to relight mine twice. I'll take the blame for one of the, the times, but the second time definitely not. It was the cigar, let it sit for a minute and it went out. So that was a little disappointing. <clears throat> uh, my flavors are very similar. Uh, earthy, I, I get a little bit more of the uh, fruity notes than you're getting currently, but um, I'm getting more vegetal notes on the retro hail, but I think it's smoother than it was in the, the first uh, couple chunks here. But but in general, I think it's a it's a pleasant cigar, um, but it's not knocking my socks off, which I kind of hoped it would. But definitely, you get the the earth, and I still get espresso notes. I don't know if you're getting any of that, but. Okay. Not me. Coffee bean now. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> you know, well balanced, but um, not earth shattering, unfortunately. So rate your cigar, sir. No. You no? rate your cigar. You want sir. me to rate my cigar? <clears throat> uh oh. The, the pressure is on. Let's see if I can give a number that Ed will agree with or go higher than. Not likely. Um, my construction wasn't as bad as yours. So I'm not going to hurt the rating as much. Um, I think it's a good cigar, the low end of excellence. So I'm going to give it a 92. I think that this is a, a good cigar. <laughs> what does that mean? Is that what you were thinking? No. Are you serious? Um, I think it's a 92 and um, I, I wish it to be better. And maybe this just isn't the right uh, particular stick, but um, but in general, I like the natural version of these a lot better. Um, not, I, I expected to like the Maduro even better than the natural, but I do not. So what about your rating, sir? Well, considering my construction issues, I mean, it's not a bad cigar. It's a good cigar. I was going to go at 91. <laughs> um, it's not... A cheap cigar. No. Um, considering the price difference, I I kind of like the regular B series. Mm -hmm. I think a little better than at least this particular stick. Considering the price difference. I well, the natural ones I think are better. They're much better than that. I don't think I've had a natural. I think I've only had the Maduro. Maduro. Of these. Yeah, I, I, the natural is a much more complex blend, um, and it's not the same blend. Just a different wrapper. Um, I think it's a slightly different blend, it or it tastes different to me. Um, oh, right. That one has the a lot more. can make a big difference. Yeah, floral notes and, and uh, you know, this particular cigar you get hints of herbal notes, um, <clears throat> but nothing really presents itself as a specific flavor. They're just little hints here and there. But in general, I think that it's a, it's a pleasant cigar, it's just not a great, you know, amazing cigar. Like I said, for my money, I'd rather. I would rather have a, a, the regular V series. Yeah, and construction has been um, a little bit of a letdown. I mean, this one's starting to go out already. I mean, these are what? Um, 
in, the, in a shop, like $14? Uh, yeah, in a shop, I bet you they're cigar. not quite that high. I, th I think they're, this size is Robusto size. It, it's probably like an $11 stick. It's not that expensive. The last one, I, well, the last one I bought in a shop, and I think it was a larger than this. Yeah, the larger ones are expensive. It's several dollars more than, than the regular V series. Yeah, I, I think I got more, these for a lot. I think I got these for eight bucks a stick. That's what we're smoking now. So, I guess for an eight dollar a stick cigar, it it's good. Um, I think it's worth the money for sure. Um, but if you were paying retail prices and you didn't get the box this box discount, um, I don't know if I would pay eleven, twelve dollars a cigar for this. But uh, in general, a good smoke and. Um, in typical cigar audit fashion, I am one higher than you in my rating, and um, I didn't even have a chance to change that. If you would have said 91 first, I think I would have said it just to shock you. Uh -huh. <clears throat> anyway, thank you all for watching. Um, be sure to check us out on Facebook. Uh, like us on Facebook, and make sure you check out our YouTube channel, and don't forget to check out CigarAudit.com. Lasting words? Till next time. Peace. See you guys.